Well, there are hundreds and hundreds of great stories packed in the crowds of people that arrive for Marathon Monday. We want to go to Paul Burton, who is live at the finish line tonight with some of those great moments from the day. Paul? <laughs> Well, I tell you, there were tears of joy and pain, moments of inspiration and celebration of community people coming together from across the globe to take part in this historic race on such a beautiful day. Oh. Congratulations. The fantastic thrill of the finish line. Oh, man, I feel amazing. Best feeling ever. Waited so long for this. Boston strong. Well, well. Both exhilarating and exhausting, runners crossing the finish line of the 125th Boston Marathon waited a long time to get here. Man, to be on these streets again, it's so magical. This marathon will go down in history. It included past champions. Great to be back here in uh, tough conditions for me. I just had a tough build up, but came and just grinded out. And, uh, support of the fans carried me through the whole time, so it's great. And the first time ever it's been run in the fall. Fall is the best time of year. I love this October race. It was so scenic running through there, seeing some of the colors popping. Uh, it gave you a distraction from uh, the pain you were feeling. There were unforgettable moments, like when Bill Johncock lifted his disabled son out of his wheelchair so he could kiss his mother. Just what a blessing he is to, to have him in my life. Adam Rundell was brought to tears. He ran for Team Hoyt, and in loving memory of Dick Hoyt, who passed away earlier this year. This run was for Dick. And... Dick and Rick and all the team and Hoyt, all the, everybody, you know, and just, our, he was running the whole way. And all were proud to receive the medal. I run 10,000 miles to get there. So. Congratulations. Welcome to Boston. Thank you. Nice work. Good yeah. job. It was a lot of hard work. So many runners, so many incredible stories. Some people, as they crossed the finish line, they were crying, some because of physical pain. For others, it was because they were running on behalf of someone who is no longer with us. Whatever the story was, this is to be a day that these runners will never forget. The Boston Marathon held on a beautiful fall day. Live at the finish line, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Back to you. All right, Paul, thank you so much. I think that's something we will never forget just as a group. We'll always look back at, oh, yeah, that Boston Marathon that was run in October. That's right. 125 years of this race, and this one yep. stands out for that reason. A gorgeous day for spectators and for runners.